Okay, so hello YouTube. Uh, what I have in front of me is KRK Systems rocket, and this thing is a piece of shit. Uh, PCB is piece of shit. The gunk that destroys everything is a piece of shit. The components are piece of shit. Well, everything is a piece of shit. So uh, I would not suggest you buy this speaker. Now, unfortunately, uh, I actually had it a couple of years ago, and thank God I sold it. I have Adams A7X. Anyway, this thing came in for the repair and I already repaired it, but uh, because I'm an idiot, uh, <laughs> I didn't record my repair, but I'm going to show you what I did. The problem was that the base was not working, so low pass was gone and uh, I'm going to show you just what I checked and uh, how I checked it and uh, hope it helps somebody. So let me, first of all, let me show you that this thing actually works. I'll be connecting this thing. Uh, power supply and since I have this uh, <laughs> fucking iPhone I need to have dongles dongles everywhere and I'm a kind of person that loses dongles so yeah anyway let me turn it on and uh, let's uh, I'll start just a song uh, any song but not for too long due to copyright now as you can see be an American me and my friends are platypus so uh, yeah, copyright, whatnot. But yeah, as you can see, it is working. I will be removing this part and will be showing you exactly what I checked and how I checked it. Because uh, it might help you to troubleshoot the, uh, well, your problems. So first of all, these two capacitors were bulged. So I replaced them. Then these two capacitors were bulged. I replaced them as well. It did not help. So I thought that this was the problem, which is the, uh, I believe, 60 watt amplifier for the bass. And... Uh, it was not. Uh, I replaced it for nothing. Then I thought that these uh, two capacitors, there is one in here and one in here which are 10 microfarads. They're connected to a, to a diode, to a mute switch. Then I thought that these capacitors were uh, faulty, but they were not. Anyway, so I started tracing everything and I will be showing you how I traced everything. And it, in the end it turned out to be, I don't know whether you can see it in here, this diode. So. Uh, this gunk, for some reason, starts to uh, conduct electricity after some time, I guess. And uh, yeah, uh, when I tested the diode from above, it was okay, but then I pushed it, because this gunk... And it turned out that this gunk uh, just destroyed this uh, wire that goes into the uh, PCB. Unbelievable. So yeah, if you have such problems, that might do, that might solve your problem. And, and as you can see, this is how I uh, installed the diode, just to see whether that, that thing was the uh, issue. And as you can see, it is. Now I'll be showing you how I actually traced the problem, and I'll be showing you the pinout that uh, I uh, kind of uh, followed. So I downloaded the, uh, this application, which is called Signal Generator, and uh, I, uh, I basically selected the frequency. You can go from here to here, it's actually irrelevant. Now, uh, in my case, we need... Uh, lower frequency, which is kind of a well, base frequency. Anyway, after I've done that, I've connected uh, one of these to uh, my oscilloscope, just so that I can see what the waveform looks like. And let me show you on the oscilloscope. Now, as you can see, this is the waveform which goes from here. So, on the second channel, I decided to, uh, well, to poke around a bit. Anyway, just by some poking around, I kind of figure out that this thing is the uh, so this one is the output for the uh, high frequency which is the smaller uh, amplifier and this one is the output for the uh, well for the bass anyway uh, these two capacitors go in here and they go to so uh, the pin uh, 3 is the uh, input so this is the line in so obviously by following from the uh, upper board to this one all the way I came through here and uh, Fair enough, I saw that this thing was working. Let's turn this thing on and let's uh, calibrate this thing a bit just to show you. So, uh, okay, this thing is on. So I'll be touching this uh, pin, which is the, uh, as you can see in here, big one. And let me just show you the oscilloscope. Now, as you can see, there is nothing much on the, uh, well, uh, lower probe, okay? But if I change the frequency to high, and uh, as you can see, I have the output. Now, the input of this thing is actually very quiet. Just a second, I think it's this one. It's two. So it is quite quiet. But you actually do get the input, so uh, as you can see, when I am. Uh, it looks more like noise than an input, but it is an input, so I guess, I don't know, shitty amplifier, whatnot. 
So anyway, uh, after I tested that, uh, let me show you what else I tested. So again, um, in here the pin 3 is the align in. So uh, on this one. And sure enough, so if I uh, tap on uh, pin 3, as you can see, I do get the input. And well, after fixing this thing, and I tap on the pin 15, I believe, it's this one, no, sorry, 16, you get the output which is massive. So this thing is working. So I've disconnected everything. Anyway, so the uh, quick and easy walkthrough. As you can see, <laughs> this is the diode that I placed in here for a test because uh, I, I need to buy a new one because this one just got, uh, well, destroyed by this gunk, which is um, in, uh, well, in, in here, uh, it is quite uh, uh, well, dirty. Let me show you with this uh, light. So as you can see where the, uh, for the high pass cable is, this gunk just got destroyed. Anyway, this diode is actually connected, uh, I believe, to a capacitor uh, to a mute uh, part of the uh, amplifier. But you can see this board looks like shit, seriously. This, uh, yeah, but it is working. So, uh, yeah, anyway, this is just a quick walkthrough uh, of what I checked. I checked every single capacitor there is. So, sorry, every single capacitor there is. So, these ones in here, and in here, and in here. And uh, you can actually check them uh, even if they're on uh, the motherboard because uh, there is no, uh, well, no components actually mess up with the readings. So, uh, but to be sure, I would suggest for you to remove them. I did. Again, first of all, check the capacitors if they are bulged. Now I guarantee you they will be because they, 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 this amplifier has like the cheapest components there are. This is, I believe, operational amplifier, and uh, I actually did check that, but uh, yeah, everything was okay. So basically, the idea is it goes from here to there, and there to op amp, and then and there and then to the uh, well, these two chips. Actually, quite easy to uh, follow, even without the uh, schematics. Although there is a schematic online. Well, this is just, I guess, a simple walkthrough. And uh, if you do have any questions, please ask. I will try to answer them. But uh, you just need to follow the pathways. It's actually quite easy. I need to buy a new diode. Bloody hell. I would never actually think that uh, this gunk would make short circuit and destroy the... Uh, destroy the uh, wire part of the uh, uh, component. Definitely. And that's it for this video. Uh, until the next time, cheers. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, yeah, bye.